This video contains spoilers for the Outsiders SMP series. Watch at your own risk. Last time on the Outsiders SMP, Owen decided to venture into the maze one last time to look for his long lost friend Apo. When they finally met after years apart, Owen remembered everything about his past life. And from there, the duo's relationship quickly spiraled. This YouTube series is officially caught up with the Twitch series and so there'll be many weeks in between each episode. If you want to see and react to them live with the rest of the community, please go to twitch.tv slash TV. I suppose I should introduce myself. My name is Owen Agassi. That's not actually my last name, I just chose it arbitrarily. I grew up in District 15 in the capital. My parents were wealthy and we lived in luxury. My mother was a playwright, though I can't remember much of her work. I have fond memories of her telling me tales of heroic battles and noble persons of interest from our land. My father was a military officer, commander of many men and honourable to a fault. In the years leading up to my birth and the preceding decades, a disease spread across the world. It set its roots deep into the cities and poisoned the lives of all it came into contact with. The Tifling Race a primitive breed that lived on the eastern coast began to branch out from its putrid capital and socialise with modern folk. And from which came the half-blooded scum that stand in defiance for all that is sacred in this world. These were the stories I heard, of the kind my nation were at war with, and as a child I never quite understood how something so seemingly simple could be so detestable. Until I met them firsthand. I saw them dancing in the flames of my home, raising my kin on pikes up to hang over the walls of the city that harboured me in the outside world as an infant, and as I stood in the field, my life burning before me, so too did the flames of war sear my heart close from any empathy or forgiveness or pity that this kind could ever hope to receive. I spent 46 days hobbling through the forest to the nearest garrison point. During that time I learnt to survive, I had been raised in comfort. The only calluses I had were from the stinging of the bowstring with which I grew beside. I learnt to forage, to build shelter, to see the tracks of animals and to know when one was nearby, to step quietly through the forest so as to not make a sound as I approached, where to find clean water, how to scale trees, and were it not for my bow I would have died only days into my journey. When I finally arrived at the small outpost, I was a new man. The snivelling child that had let his father down had grown into a soldier ready to lay his life on the line for his kingdom. I grew up to be the greatest hunter my kind has ever known. I grew to be honoured and feared in equal measure. Rumour had it that the parents in the demon villages would use me as a way to get their children to behave. I was no more than a boogeyman to them, until the day would finally come of course, where I would arrive, truly there in the flesh for the first time, and tear them down. <laughs> Sorry, um, I get carried away sometimes in monologuing. Call it the thespian in me, I suppose. Needless to say, I suddenly didn't expect you all to still be here. Yes, you, the voices in my head. I still hear you. Oh, so downtrodden. Woe is me. I hoped when I awoke the day after I met that demon in the maze that you'd be gone. That I would finally have a mind of silence. Imagine my disappointment when instead I awoke to screaming. So loud. So brutish. Anyway, <clears throat> we have work to do, and I suppose seeing as I don't have a choice, you can come along for the ride. Hmm. Ugh. It'll be fine. <sighs> ah. Kyle, hi. Uh, hey, uh, what's on your hands? Um, oh, I just picked some strawberries. This oh. juice. Nice. Uh, well, I just, I just wanted to ask you something. You, I know you buried all your, you know, tools to get us into the dark maze and lead us through here, but are you sure you want to leave them there? My equipment? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. What good is it now, eh? 
I, I'm eating. I think it, I just think it could be useful. And I, I really think you should think about it a little bit harder. Well, why? What would I use it for? Well, I think I just think we're so close, Owen. I think we would make a couple more trips into the dark maze. We can finally map it out a little bit stronger, and then we can finally find a way out of here. <sighs> why do you want to get out so badly, Carl? To have a life outside these walls. I mean, that's all we really know right now, but just any chance to get out of here. I feel like that's what we've worked towards for so long. That's what you do? After you get out, you, you live? I mean, yeah. What else do you expect to do? Well, what if there isn't a life for you outside these walls? What if, what if, what if you're here for a reason? Hmm? The only reason I could ever fathom of being here, honestly, is to find the answer. I mean... <sighs> Is this, this is this is not what life is meant to be. I don't know. It's it's cushy, entertaining. There's sports to do. Yeah, I mean because we made that all, and we can do it again outside the walls. And honestly, it probably has more resources. Maybe a little safer. You know, the whole monster in both mazes. <laughs> oh, that's not an issue if you don't go in. Either way, track on if you want to. Don't let me hold you back. What are you talking about? I'm not gonna stop you. You're not going to continue on all oh. the progress that you've worked so hard on? Progress? What do we have to show for our progress? Dead people. Tracking the inside of the maze, finding a way farther along, seeing what people left behind before us. I mean, we could be the first people to ever escape this maze. Carl, I understand that from your perspective, it seems like there might be hope, but it's a lot easier if you just get comfortable here, at least for the time being. There's nothing outside Why? those walls worth having. How do you know that? Just call it a hunch. You don't want to just work a little bit harder? I mean, we're just so close. Just a couple more trips, Owen. Like I said, crack on if you want to. It's not my concern. I have other things to work towards. But you're our leader, Owen. What happens to that? Leaders are respected, Kyle. Leaders are listened to. And I respect you, and I listen to you. Well, then you are one of the exceptions. I was elected a leader amongst three others. Badoons, Gracie, and Apo, who currently either missing, dying, or dead. Look, I get that, but now, now you have the opportunity to be the sole leader to get us out of the maze. You can be the reason we escape. I wouldn't want to... To lead these people. To lead these people is, is, is an insult into my history. I, it's not worth the effort. It's just preposterous. What do you mean? You're just going to give up? Listen, if you want a leader who babies you, tells you everything's going to be okay, go to Magic. She seems perfectly capable. Oh my God. This, is, this isn't right, Owen. This isn't you. How do you know who I am? You've barely been here for what, no longer than a year? What have you achieved over your time here, Kyle? What have you contributed? Ever since Akko and I stepped foot into this clearing, we've gotten farther than we ever have before. Then clearly you are in a better position to carry on. And if you want to throw yourself into that maze and die in the process, be my guest. You have my blessing. Is that what you're looking for as, as your leader? Is that what you want me to do? Go ahead. I really thought I knew you, Owen. This isn't right. This isn't right, Owen. I wish you the best, Carl. Go back to picking your strawberries. You're a coward, Owen. The Typhling race and its subspecies come in many shapes and sizes. The knowledge the soldier has surrounding the strengths and weaknesses of this race will ultimately decide their fate on the battlefield. We'll begin with the Halfbloods. A nimble and wily kind, they have an uncanny way of disappearing into thin air whenever you start looking for them. Exhibit A would be the demon named Apo. Somehow it hid just around the corner of the entrance to the clearing for almost a year without being found. Of course now it definitely won't be found as its decomposing body has been deposited at the bottom of the water system in the maze. 
Despite the forest and the clearing being relatively small, if the demon named Raspberry does not wish to be discovered, then apprehending her will be almost impossible without the proper preparations. We'll come back to this one. I do not know what species the demon named Crow is, a mix of human and perhaps something I've not seen before. It seems to have a general knowledge of weaponry and sharper nails and teeth than its distant biological cousins. It is, or at least was, quick to violence. It seems to have calmed down in the last few months. It doesn't try to hide and isn't particularly fast, but out of all the remaining demons, this one poses the biggest threat. We'll leave it to last. The demon named Guts is a full typhling, not a drop of human blood in them. Adult full demons range anywhere between 6 to 11 feet. They're faster than their half-demon counterparts and can break a grown man's arm simply by squeezing it. Thankfully, they're also particularly averse to conflict. They scare easily and will sooner flee a situation rather than fight, though they don't hide well. Their lanky figure and bright red skin makes it difficult for them to blend in. Even so, I cannot take any chances. Not only because the demon named Guts might turn on me any second if cornered, but also because if anyone hears their screams, I'll be outed of in a moment. The walls help loud sounds reverberate in the clearing. No, if I'm going to get away with this to continue my purpose, I have to do so quietly. I should start making preparations. <sighs> okay. Right. Uh, no. No. Zucchinis. What's the difference between that and... Uh, oh, no, this makes any sense. A basket. Ah, rice. Okay. Owen? Hello? Oh. Hi, you found my garden. Soup, it's you. Hi. Yes, hello. Uh, you want to pick some stuff? Give me a hand harvesting it? Yes, I was needing um some ingredients for something I'm making. Uh, but I am having trouble identifying the stuff. Oh, um, I'll give you a hand. Uh, most of it's pretty ready at the moment. I've actually not harvested it for a while because I've kind of been busy with Gracie. So mm -hmm. um, I could actually use the help. So okay, uh, fire away. I need fire rice. Away. I don't know how much I need. I found some in the box, but it looks a bit old. So have any new stuff? Yeah, new stuff from here. Yeah. Oh. This stuff's ready. Okay. Right in front of you. Oh, fantastic. Okay, thank you. No problem. <laughs> okay. What are you making? A curry or? Uh. Like a, a dish for a friend, I thought I would, um, you know, show them I, I appreciate them through cooking. Aww. But I'm not very good at cooking, so, you know, trying to get the ropes. Thanks. Uh, cucumbers? I have zucchinis, but that's not the same thing. They are not the same thing. You want to follow me? They are by the spinch. What? The spinach. This stuff. The spinach. Oh, this, the spinach stuff. Yeah, it, it, it was a joke. I know it's not really called spin. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, spinch. Uh, okay. Cucumbers. Uh... You've been going okay? Hmm? Everything all right? Yeah, I'm fine, yeah. Why, how are you? No, I'm all right. Yeah, I just haven't seen a lot of people recently. So. Right, I just yeah. I sort of wanted to say hi. I've just been kind of been mere magic most of the time, so. Mm hmm Um, do you have any tomatoes? Ah. I do. The I... things that look like strawberries but taste significantly worse, they are over here. I don't know, I think they have a certain charm to them. Oh, these are just the seeds. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that's no good. Um, stay there. Sure. Stay there. I have some. Thank you. Okay. Much appreciated. No. Uh, what I, I, else? Hmm? No, I was just going to say, I, 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 I guess they've kind of dried up a little bit. Sorry yeah. About that. Um, no. Fine, don't worry about it. Uh, potatoes. And sweet berries. You know what a potato looks like. Yes. I imagine it's, <laughs> yeah. I got that one. I got that one. We used to farm potatoes. So this one I do actually have. Thank you. Before I was here, or? Yeah. Yes. Uh, here in the clearing, we used to. 
Aren't potatoes. Uh, and sweet berries. Mm -mm. Don't step on them. No, yeah. Wouldn't want to get uh get stabbed by them. Good, okay. And I think uh brown mushrooms. Oh, um I can't grow those here because the soil's not right for it. So you have to go over to the waterfall area. Oh uh, there's like a little cave, there's a whole bunch of mushrooms there. Okay, fantastic, um, thank you. That's appreciated. Uh, no, but before you go, do you wanna see Gracie? Hmm? Do you want do you wanna see Gracie? I'm very As I'm quite busy. Uh I've really gotta get this done. Um, but perhaps another time. Yeah, right. To be, to be fair, when I was looking after you, I know a lot of people did the visit. I guess it's just how things are around here. Huh? When you were sick and I looked after you, I was just saying, I know people were busy, so... Right. They didn't always get... Yes. Yeah. Uh, they, you, the water caves this way? Uh, yeah, to, to the left of it. Okay. Oh, um, one more thing. Uh, I actually do need one more ingredient. Um... Mm -hmm. Yeah, hold on. Could you could you get me some of that? Uh, yeah, just be careful with it. Yeah, Normally sure. it's used in potions, so um, you just make sure you read the recipe properly. It might need spe like specific preparing. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Don't worry, the person no, I'm cooking it for something. can uh, can have it. So oh, okay. it's all fine. Then, no worries. Cool. Talk to you later. Bye. Hi, Magic. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm, uh, well, thank you. Yes, a little tired. That's okay. What you, what's you doing? Uh, I'm doing some house renovations. <gasps> Can I see? Uh, they're not finished. There's... I want to see. There's, they're they're really not finished. It's messy inside. Please, I'll, Please? I'll, I'll. How about when they're done, I'll call you and I'll give you a grand house to tour. Fine. As long as I can see it first. Sure, you'll be the first on my list. Let's go. Oh dear. How have how have you been keeping yourself? You know. I don't. Right. I don't. I've yeah, been. No, you don't. <laughs> I've been quite quite busy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, you are uh, keeping safe. Safe. Mhm. Mm Pretty much. Out of harm's way. I, yeah. Out of trouble. Just, yeah. Good. Uh, have you seen much of the others? Um. Yeah. I've talked to Kyle some. Mhm. Mm Raspy, Soup, Beck. We all kind of hang here some nights. Yeah? Hmm? Yeah. Everybody? Pretty much. Hmm. I didn't oh, think that... Grace. Yeah, ha have you checked on her recently? Um... I see. No. <laughs> Well, no, it's not that, like I don't want to check up on her. Mm -hmm. It's more the fact that I don't want to go in there and see her that way. Uh, uh okay. Uh, I'll swing by later and make sure that she's okay. Do you have any more food? I'm starving and have uh, oh, very little. Yeah, I've got some carrots and some hot chocolate. Thank you. There you go. That is an interesting combination. It's a good combination. What do you want? Oranges? Oranges? Yeah, I have some of those. Um, no, I'm okay, thank you. You sure? Mm-hmm. Thank you, though, the... 
the 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 oh goodness so uh food harvesting's been going well then yeah i mean there's not really much to do other than pick food chop down some trees hang out mm -hmm. uh kyler kind of wants to go into the meat still but yeah hmm. um you mentioned crow came to the gatherings take a seat take a seat okay it's been a long time since we've chatted I did, Crow didn't strike me as the kind of creature to enjoy social gatherings. I mean, it's getting used to it. Hmm. Interesting. And Bex seems to be yeah. coming out of her shell a bit more. Yeah. She's not really tried anything, so that's good. Hmm. Interesting. Anybody else of note? Uh, I mean, other than like, Rosby and I talked to a couple in my house. Uh, everyone else is just chilling. Yeah, how did you um talk to Rosby? Oh. Like, how did uh, you find her? <laughs> funny story, actually. So, it was like when around the time when the, like a week after those like opened i was gonna go check that side because i hadn't seen it from this side obviously i saw it from the other side mm -hmm. a while ago and then we kind of just bumped into each other and then we just you know chatted and then she came to my house to leave me a note uh, the other day you're good friends with each other i'd say so huh. well it's good that she has someone like you yeah, I think she's gonna hang at the campfire with us soon. She said she'd think about it. That would be good. So that's good. Yeah, we yeah. should we should all spend more time with each other, I think. I agree. And what was that about Kyle? Oh. Yeah, um Kyle's still very mad. Oh, about he thinks everyone's giving up. Mm. You especially. Mm -hmm. Kept mentioning your name. Um <laughs> I was oh, just trying yes. to tell him, like, you can't just, like, like, because, like, he just only sees the view of, like, just wanting to get out, rather than both sides. Like, people who want to, like, sit in here for a bit is fine, because they don't want to lose their friends again, mm -hmm. um, which is fine. But also, while people sit in here, they can help gather things to help people who go in there. It's kind of how, like, we did it in, um, our clearing. Mm -hmm. it, it, yeah, it works, and I, I'm just hoping Kyle will see that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, interesting. I think there's, um, you kind of have to see the bigger picture, really. Yeah. And some of us have bigger aspirations than just getting out of here. Mm hmm Well, I should probably get back to work. Wait, whoa, where's the, wasn't there a flower in your hair? Hmm? You had a flower, didn't uh, you? It's, there's not. Ah, yeah, I think it uh, fell out. While I was, Why? I don't know. I, I, I've been scrounging around in the mines. I'll, I'll go back and look for it at some point. Do you want another one? I'll be okay. Thank you. Are you sure? Yeah, maybe maybe Grace can give me another one when she wakes up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go see to the house. It was nice to talk to you. You too. Hi. I mean, you said see to the house. Right see to the house. Yeah, I can see to the house right, right from here. <laughs> Thank you, Magic. Talk soon. Bye bye. Dear Guts, I hope this letter finds you well. I've been meaning to write it for some time, but only recently have mustered the courage. I was wondering if you'd like to visit mine for dinner sometime. It's been a while since I've had any guests visit, and I was catching up with an old friend the other day, and thought it might be nice to do the same with you. I'm not sure what day you may read this, but please know that if the moon is ever full, I've cooked enough for two, and would be honoured to dine in your company. 
Yours faithfully, Owen. Are you me, voices? I'm often told of that little voice in your head that gives unsolicited advice. You'd fit that bill if you were little. But you're not. You're like a vast, intricate network of thoughts. Like mycelium. Mycelium is the roots of fungus which reach down beneath the soil. I used to dig those up as a child. I, I tried to follow them, as if they'd lead me somewhere new and exciting. If I follow the depths of your roots into my own brain, I wonder what I would find. <laughs> you can't be me. I want the demon named Guts to visit tomorrow, and you don't. You hope they never open that letter, that they never come. Well, almost all of you. I can feel that some of you are morbidly curious. Some of you want to follow the roots. See how far they take you. Knock, knock. Hello? Uh, sorry, hold on. Uh, Yo. one moment. Yes. It's fine. Hi. Yo. Hey. Good to see you. Up? Come on in. I saw that you sent me an invitation. I was, I wasn't expecting that. I Hi. did. I, and I wasn't expecting you. I didn't know if you'd, uh, get it or not. Well, I've been asleep, so it's kind of 50-50 anyway. Fair, fair enough, fair enough. Um, yes, welcome to my home. It's not much. Uh, I know. It's a bit cold. But, uh, can I interest you in some dinner? Sure, why not? Great, fantastic. I didn't know that you cooked. It's uh, a relatively new thing. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Hold on, just under here. Venting. We are. <laughs> ah, here. After you. <laughs> oh, I got it. You got oh. it. Oh. I'll be with you in a sec. Okay, we mess this up. This is pretty. Thank you very much. Welcome. I like this. Wow. Um. I thought I was the only builder in this goddamn globe. <laughs> no. Uh. Well, I've. Taken on a lot of new things. Poetry is another thing I do recently. Um, that sounds like you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Little, little soft boy over here. That's me. <laughs> that's me. Wouldn't hurt a fly. Um, <laughs> yes. Take a seat. Take a seat. All right. All right. Can I interest you in a drink? I've oh, got. Sure. What you got? Juice. I've got. Uh, a, I've got tea. That's the two things I have. Uh, I'll take some juice if you don't mind. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. I'll have some. Tea. There you are. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Um, <laughs> what have you been up to? Uh, nothing much recently. Uh, no, honestly, um, uh, after the whole um situations with um uh people dying, uh, I mm -hmm. kind of fell into a little bit of a sleep. Uh, sure. With the cold weather, a uh, little hibernation. So. <laughs> yes. Okay. Also, this, this table is very short. Oh uh, gosh. My to my chest. <laughs> <laughs> that's my bad. I, I must have just built it with humans in mind. That's that's my fault. No, that's fine. Um that's Well, what's your favorite food? If you could have anything. I don't really have a favorite. No? Honestly. That's fair enough. No. My uh my mother used to cook me this and uh my goodness, it's like one of my favorite things in the world. Uh, I give you uh, pulled pork with a, with a little salad to go with it. Um, oh, thank you. I'm not of course, of course. I'm not a huge fan of salad, but I will definitely eat some of this. More of a, a meat-oriented person? Oh, yeah, definitely. Fair, okay. fair. Um, well, goodness, sorry, yeah, I kind of devoured that. I've been working hard building this place. Um, oh, yeah. And it gets, uh, it's been tiring. So you haven't heard I mean, much I, of what's been going on? Oh, sorry, I interrupted you. No, it's fine. I, I know that everyone has been kind of, like, busy in the Glade. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know why people are starting to, like, wanting to stay here anymore. It, does, it, do, it doesn't sound like anybody here. No, no, I think I agree. I, I want to leave as well. Mm -hmm. Um, I think we've always kind of seen eye to eye about that, that this isn't really a place that we can stay. 
No, oh, yeah. I mean, I've always admired you for like how you took on a like a leadership role, even though you've had your mm. hard times. You know? Thank you. That means a lot coming oh. from you. Oh, me? I I I do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I just kept uh, people in my basement and one person I didn't even know about. Um, <laughs> yeah, that that uh. That cell has gotten a lot of use recently. Um, I, I don't even know what happened there. Yeah, neither do I. It, it was out of my hands. Do you remember much of your life before all of this? Um, honestly, I don't remember a, a whole lot, but what I do remember is I, w I was treated very horribly by, um, humans, if I'm honest. Um, okay. And I kind of resented them for that. I don't mm. remember w about what happened really and why they didn't like me. Mm -hmm. But I remember I I found a village that was accepting at one point and then and then shortly after it, they just didn't seem to like me and mm. did some terrible things. Oh. I'm so sorry. No, it's fine. I mean even with even with my past, I still don't hold it against anybody. So No? Um, honestly, you're one of the only humans that has treated me well, so I appreciate that. Of course. That's what friends are for. Totally. You uh <laughs> there's no bad no bad blood then with, with you and your past? As much as I like deep in my heart, I know that there is some anger, some disappointment. Mm -hmm. and everything like that, but I can't hold it against anybody now. No one has done anything to me. I see. You know, someone once said to me um, mm -hmm. that an eye for an eye makes uh, the whole world blind. Mm -hmm. But I think they're wrong. Because let, let's say, for example, uh, that you attack me. And, and you take one of my eyes uh, and then I in vengeance took one of yours and then prompted by rage you take the last of mine how how am I now little more than a blind fool meant to take your eye when I can hardly even find you I, I think in in truth an eye for an eye doesn't make the whole world blind an eye for an eye leaves one eyed man in a world of the blind and, and i suppose what you have to ask yourself is do you want to be the man of no eyes or the man of one just food for thought oh speaking of food uh the main course i have a main oh, course yes yes hey. that was just the starter how would i put it i think it was big hungry boy yeah Ooh. I have. Okay, I've been working on for a long time for this. <clears throat> Ta-da! Ah. Stuffed pumpkin. Wow. Let me get you a bowl, and I'll take some bread for myself. Uh, here this you really go. Good, Owen. Thank you. Oh, oh, there you go. Uh, oh, yes. Nice. Tuck in. Oh, this smells good. Thank oh you. Thank gosh. you. Aren't you gonna have any? Um, no, no, I can't. I can't. It's just for you. Why can't you have any? I thought you made it for the both of us. Well, uh, okay, I was going to keep this as a surprise, but I spoke with Soup and I was able to borrow some Neverwort from her. Mm -hmm. uh, and I used that in the cooking because I remember you mentioned that that's a delicacy where you come from. So I thought I would... I did mention that, didn't I? Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. I thought I'd. Uh... As a second thought, that 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 pork, you know, the the pork that you gave me made me really full. I, I'm. What? I think I might save it for another day. No, oh, come on. I I spent so long on this. It would be rude of you to not have some now. No, that's okay. I'll just I'll just take it home with me. It's no, don't be rude. Don't be rude, guts. But, uh, the, oh, and I'm 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 fine. Really, I'll just take it with me. It's okay. Why don't you want to eat it, guts? I, I, I eat the pork and the, the salad and, you know. That's not it, is it? Come on, you can what be honest mean? with me. Hmm? I cooked this for you. I used the ingredients you said. Remember that time at the feast when you served stuffed pumpkin? I do. 
What's on your mind, Guts? You can tell me. Absolutely nothing. That's such a shame. I, I worked so hard on this. Um. Oh, it's not that. I'll, I'll just take it home with me. It's okay. I'm still going to enjoy it. You know, I've been thinking about that day quite a lot recently. Um, and How so? I don't know. I just feel like you would have checked the Neverwart. That it was, you know, safe for humans. And, and, and the more I thought about it, the more it didn't make sense. And I'm starting to think that maybe you knew. You knew what the Neverwart would do. No, 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 no. What, what That's crazy. You can't eat it. Owen, you, you know me better than that. I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't do that to somebody. I think I know you better than you know yourself, Guts. I think you can't eat the Neverwart. Prove me wrong. Take a bite, and I'll apologize, and you can go on your way. Fine. You're right. You're right. I can't eat it. Why not? <sighs> that day, I did poison the pumpkin. But it wasn't to poison magic. That was a complete accident. <laughs> and I know I should have said something sooner, I told magic already, and magic doesn't hold me, you know, she's not angry with me, but she won't, she, forgive, but don't forget, you know? Mm-hmm. That's the thing. I don't think it's, uh, I don't think it's up to magic, or me, or you, as to who decides what goes scot-free and, you know where judgment comes from and where it lands. I think judgment and consequence is a funny way of catching up to your guts. Uh, I don't think you should try to run from it. <laughs>